Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be doing a portrait of Dua Lipa for the second time. Let's see how much I improved. So before we continue, be sure to subscribe to my channel. It's free, what's the harm? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, what do you think about this video? I'm posting new videos every week, so click the bell icon next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified whenever I upload my brand new video. Also, to see more of my art, you can follow me on my Instagram down here. I will leave the link in the description box down below. Click up here on the top right to see more of my art videos. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. I start by drawing the eyes, as always, with a pencil B. And I darken it up using B2, B3 and B4. And I always sharpen my pencil to get a sharp, high definition look. So for the eyelashes and eyebrows, I darken it up using a mechanical pencil from B6 to B8. So for the shading, I use a hatching motion to create the shadows. Usually whenever I'm drawing, I always turn on my TV. I play some YouTube music videos as I'm drawing. But since I'm using an easel, I had to turn off my TV. Make it black because it looks so crowded and, and the lighting will change and everything. So that's why I put on my headphones. It looks better. So you guys can focus on the drawing instead of the TV. Right. Oh, oh, um, I have my art companion here with me, which is Eve. Back to the drawing. So, whenever I draw, the sequence are always the same. I start with the eyes the brows, nose, lips, chin lines, ears, then I end it with the hair and her clothes. I always remind myself to start with the hard part then finish off with the easy part because I used to get too excited to start with the hair and finish off with the eyes but it always smudged the face with the black stain coming from the hair ruins the whole picture and the eyes become so distorted. I've learned my lesson, never waste time on the easy part. That should be the last. Drawing on an easel was quite hard and exhausting at first, but now I'm getting used to it. This is the second time I'm doing my pencil drawing on an easel. What I learned about drawing like this is that my drawings are more precise it doesn't get distorted compared to drawing on a flat, I mean, drawing flat on a table. It helped a lot. I do wish that one day I get to purchase an adjustable tabletop where I can adjust the angle to a 45 degree or something. I need it so I won't have to put an easel on my table anymore. Oh, whenever you guys are drawing, if you guys are artists like me, what struggles do you face? Tell me in the comments down below. Do you guys struggle drawing the eyes? Struggle with the lips? Struggle with the white hairlines? The hair highlights? Do you guys struggle the way you hold your pencil? Tell me. I want to know. And also, if you guys need some tips, just let me know. And I'll be happy and gladly to help you guys.
sorry to interrupt you guys because I lost 3 hours of footage as I was editing this I don't know what happened and I blame my cats that's it okay maybe not maybe it's just me my mistake I didn't check when I was transferring the video okay I still love my cats <laughs> So that's it guys, this is the final drawing, what do you think? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, if you have any requests, ideas or suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm posting new videos every week, so click the bell icon next to the subscribe button so you will be notified whenever I upload my brand new video. To see more of my art, you can follow me on my Instagram down here. I will leave the link in the description box down below. Click my face here on the left to subscribe to my channel. To see more of my videos, click my playlist here on the right. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!